everybody. Just moving on to the Japanese Sectorial Army box now. And first of all, it's assembling. Um, so I'm just going to go through everything, show flash. And uh, first of all, remember to cut out your free tokens. There's a couple of wound markers, a mines marker, and a toe camouflage marker with that. So here we've got the guys that come out of the box. As they come out of the box, we've got three Kaisatsu Butai. Um, these are your rank and file guys. I'm really glad that they're just one piece miniatures. Um, no assembly, just I'll do flash checks and everything in a minute. We've got a Kempe Tai, uh, Oniwaban Ninja Dude, and uh, Domaru Butai, who's like a samurai type dude. First Kaisatsu Butai. Uh, only real flash, just on the tip of the gun here. And I'm just going to take my knife, just uh, cut that away. Take it neat. Um, other than that, no real flashes ever. These miniatures are absolutely gorgeously made. And I will try and cut the base off and I'll show you who balances and who does not. It's a teeny flash line here as well. Here's the second guy, Sotsu Butai. Again, this is straight out of the pack. I've not done anything. The only thing is that one little bit of flash on the top there, so again I'll just take that off. Yeah, once again, very beautiful miniatures, very little in the way of cleanup. Oh, there's a tiny bit on his foot there as well. It'll affect his balance, so that'll come off. Kaisotsu Butai number three. And a lady. Lady Kaisotsu Butai. Um, I'm probably saying it really badly. I don't actually speak Japanese. But I think that's roughly how to pronounce it. It might be Kei Kaisotsu. But meh, I don't know. Um, I've already cleaned her up. Uh, she had a bit of flash on like one of her feet and on the tip of the dagger hilt here. But she also had a, a mold line, so I, okay, if you can see that's a bit shiny along this edge here. And um, that's just where I've cleaned it up. A mold line is where the mold doesn't sit perfectly together. You might even be able to see a little bit of it left there. And um, so there's a slight misalignment, and you get a sort of a slight ridge running almost like around the whole miniature. Um, but it's only in places which you infer that maybe. The mould was getting old and so there was just a bit of seam, um, not quite sealed. So yeah, that's your Kaisatsu Butai. On to the character models. This is um, the Domaro Butai, the samurai of the group. Um, comes in four pieces and this is straight out of the box there. Again, just having to check, but the miniature itself has very little in the way of flash, there's a little bit of a mould line. But it's it's up on one side and just on the inside of the back of his knee. So not a lot of there really. Other than that the body's pretty immaculate. Like the paired swords, this is important. Uh, the paired swords are indicative of a samurai. Um, they had a little bit of flash coming off the tip, which is expected. Um, also, they have two significant pieces of flash coming off the top of the hilts of the blade. I'm just making, being careful to make sure I actually clip to the top of the sword hilt. But yeah, you uh, traditionally only samurai may have the paired swords, the wakazashi and the katana. Also on the um, the tsuba, the handguard here, there is um, a little bit of flash. Ooh, don't bend the blade. Don't bend the blade. Yeah, just removing the bits of flash from there. Yeah, be very careful when dealing with especially considering that these are white metal casting, so it's not like lead. If it flexes one way and you flex it back, you're liable to tear the metal. 
and this will lead to you having no swords on your minis. Um, I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to place them because I think I'm going to try and place them so that they're not like sticky out -y too much. -y. Uh, the gun uh, arm uh, it just has a bit of flash on the elbow there and a bit of um, flash here. Again, this is all proper flash, so it's um, it's from where the the mold allows mold metal to seep out. Yeah, there's no molding line on it. I do love these weapons. And then just the other arm. It has a huge piece of flash sticking straight out of the. Well, uh, note that the hand for the other arm is actually already on the gun. Uh, these are sort of fixed pose minis. They're not like um, sort of plastic sets that you get, which commonly have multi poseable minis. Uh, there's also a bit of flash just on the shoulder here. Sorry, I might have to just take this out of shot. Yeah, but yeah, they're they're still they're pretty super clean. So I'm just going to finish cleaning this dude up, and I will get on to the next guy. This is the Campe tie. Um, got just the one separate piece which is the arm here and then the main body uh, the arm's got sort of three significant pieces of flash uh, one on the shoulder one on the tip of the blade here and again one at the hilt and um, be very careful again that you actually cut to the hilt of the sword rather than uh, removing the wrong thing. Uh, also there's a little bit of a mold line but I'm not going to deal with that on camera. Uh, the actual body, it has a significant piece of flash coming off the gun and another piece of flash just here on the coat. Uh, this guy doesn't have any mold lines at all that I've spotted anyway. I'm oh, just running down the gun a little bit here. It's very, very insignificant. Once again, awesome news. So I'll finish cleaning these guys up and then I'll show you the, the ninja, the Oni Waban. So finally and most sneakily we have the Oni Waban, the ninja of the Jap Japanese sectorial army pack. Um, the hand comes with the sword and also the scabbard is separate um, and I've just been looking at the image on the front cover and it shows the ninja with the scabbard placed vertically so that the blade would be pointing upwards whilst being worn on your hip but this would be incorrect for a ninja samurai were actually required to do this it was the samurai way of putting it on and it was because it made it harder and slower to draw the blade whereas ninja would tend to wear their blades so they were easier to draw either horizontally across the back for the sort of backhanded side draw or with the blade facing straight down so that you could draw and slash in a single faster movement and that's why because it would be faster and they were sneaky and they were all about winning fights by being sneaky uh, whereas samurai were about doing other stuff so I've just cut off the hand and there's a little bit of flash just on the hilt of the blade again um, the blade has a slight um, sort of curve back. Um, I don't know if this is meant to be a shout out. I mean, the ninja traditionally used the ninja toe, which also, oh, and this does have it, has a square handguard. That was that, or tuba. Uh, that was the distinction, or one of the distinctions. And the reason they had the square handguard is because it made the sword. A more versatile tool so you could stand on it or use it for catching um, almost like a grappling hook like uh, for hook it into something and use it to pull yourself up uh, the scabbard itself has a tiny bit of flash at the top um, slight 
bit of flash at the bottom along the back edges as well. But I don't want to mess with that too much, very delicate. Yeah, the arm has a significant piece of flash which is on the elbow here. Um, this entire lump has to come away. Um, hang on, I'm just going to double check, double check, double check. And then so basically there's a straight line here and I just want to take the whole piece off and then that brings it back to something more like how it's meant to be. I'll probably just give this a bit of a um, I don't know if you know to do this, but um, I'll probably give this a bit of a scrape. And the only one himself, um, is again pretty much free. He's got a little bit here on his foot. Sorry if I keep on putting my hands in the way when I'm doing this. A little bit here on his other foot. But other than that, pretty clean, no real mould lines. So we get another beautiful mini. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the bottoms of their stands off and we'll find out how many of these people balance. See you in a second. So here is the balancing act. Um, the only guy I couldn't get to stand was after sticking them together was the Domaro Butai but this dude has got the most sort of um, dynamic awkward to stand pose I'm pretty impressed that most of the others have and um, even the lady lady Kaisatsu Butai who has combat wedges I'm not sure if you can quite see them um, and yeah so once again most of them will stand up right of their own core I think with a bit of um, careful massaging, you could probably get the Damaro Butai to stand up. The biggest problem with this model, though, is the weight of the chain rifle. Uh, the chain rifle completely displaces the model's weight, and uh, as you can see, very dynamic posing. So enjoy your painting, and I hope this is used to you. So that when you're picking by and stuff, you can just see. Um, how much flash is on it, how much preparation, how balanced the model is, how easy it is going to be to put out on other things. And as a final note, you know, I've got my uh, JSA type bases, uh, all of my all Yu Ching, um, all of my Yu Ching stuff will go on there. And also I have my, my old school ninja, which I have discovered recently, War Games Foundry now produces these. Uh, the same, the original 80s um, GW Ninjas. Uh, so they've clearly got a license for that. So you can use them for your camo and toe markers if you so desire because they are now freely and widely available again. So I hope you've enjoyed. Have a good and take care. Bye bye.